The Tool Chemical Agent Disposal Facility TOCDF, also called Tool Chemical Demilitarization Facility or TOCDF, is a U.S. Army facility located at Deseret Chemical Depot in Tool County, Utah that was used for dismantling chemical weapons. Disposal <laughs> <laughs> Destruction is a requirement under the Chemical Weapons Convention and is monitored by the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. Deseret Chemical Depot held 44% of the nation's chemical stockpile when processing began, and it had held some of these chemical munitions since 1942. TOCDF was constructed in the early 1990s and began destruction of chemical agent-filled munitions on of August 1996. As of September 2011, the facility had processed 99% of its stockpile. TOCDF processed all of its VX, sarin and mustard gas at its main facility. A smaller incinerator was installed west of the main plant in order to dispose of lewisite filled containers. In advance of plant closing, two ponds were revitalized and the surrounded area reseeded as well as 29 miles of railroad being removed out of 40 miles of rail in Deseret. Disposal of all chemical weapons concluded on 21 January 2012. It was the last depot to complete its disposal operations under the U.S. Army Chemical Materials Agency, although two other depots still store chemical weapons to be destroyed by the Assembled Chemical Weapons Alternatives Program at Pueblo, Colorado and Bluegrass, Kentucky. <laughs> GB campaign. Each of the weapons listed contained sarin GB 28945 to 115 mm self-propelled rockets M55 containing 154.86 short tons 1056 M56 warheads which are M55 rockets without the rocket motor 5.65 tons 119,400 to 105 mm cartridges M360 97.31 tons 679,303 to 105 mm projectiles M360 553.63 tons 67,685 to 155 mm projectiles M121 a1 219.98 tons 21456 to 155 mm projectiles M122 69.73 tons 888 wet eye bombs 154.07 tons 4463 750 pound bombs MC1 490.93 tons 5,709 ton containers containing 4,299.10 tons all sarin 6,045.26 tons was disposed of by March 2002. Topic <laughs> VX campaign. After completion of the GB campaigns, the plant was converted to dispose of similar weapons containing VX agent 3,966 M55 rockets 19.83 tons 3,560 M56 rocket warheads 17.80 tons 53,216 M121, A1 155mm projectiles 159.65 tons 22,690 M23 land mines 119.12 tons 862 TMU-28 spray tanks 584.44 tons 640 ton containers 455.48 tons all VX 1356.32 tons was disposed of by the 3rd of June 2005 processing of VX contaminated containers was completed in October 2005 topic <laughs> mustard agent campaign 
After VX processing was completed, the plant was reconfigured to process chemical weapons containing mustard gas, also called mustard agent or H or HD or HT. 5,463 ton containers 54,453 to 155 mm projectiles 63,274 4.2-inch mortise operations to destroy mustard gas weapons were completed on 21 January 2012. <laughs> <laughs> weapons disposal process The destruction process involves receiving the items in protective containers from a covered, protected storage area, and placing the items onto trays for insertion into the automated processing area. Inside the first automated area, the explosion containment room, explosive components are removed from the items and destroyed in a rotating kiln called the deactivation furnace system. The items then are carried on automated cars to another room, called the munition processing bay, where automated machinery sucks the liquid agent out. The liquid is sent to holding tanks. The nearly empty items are then moved to the lower level on an automated lift, and introduced into a high temperature maximum 2000 degrees Fahrenheit or 1100 degrees Celsius oven called the metal parts furnace, which destroys the residual agent so that the containers can be safely disposed of as scrap metal. The liquid agent is destroyed in one of two high temperature maximum 2700 degrees Fahrenheit or 1500 degrees Celsius ovens called liquid incinerators. The products of combustion from the ovens and kilns pass through extensive pollution abatement systems, which catch the airborne products as salts, and hold them in a liquid slurry called brine, which is periodically shipped to out-of-state underground disposal facilities. See also Deseret Test Center United States and Weapons of Mass Destruction Tool Army Depot